All right, back at Peacock Park, Coconut Grove. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I did a rig for the for the new camera that I got, the uh, SJ4000. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out now in the park and see how it does. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the waterproof case. Ah, let me put this down for a second. I'm gonna pop it off from the waterproof case. So it comes out a little lighter. I'm gonna set the vibration, uh, the shake on so it limits some of the uh, shake that it gets. Let me put this away real quick. All right, powering up. A little hard to see with the sun. Okay, I'm gonna go into settings. And let me jump all the way down to auto shaking. This is, hold on. Yep, anti-shaking, there it is. Anti-shaking on. All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and check the camera in. Snaps in perfectly. I right, am gonna set the camera to record. All right, record on. I can see from the LED screen. Uh, I can't go back any further. Um, I'm, I'm able to see a little bit of the top of the quadcopter at this moment. I really don't care. I just want to test it. So, all right, let me flip it upside down to bind it easier. Plug it in first. Check in my, uh, my battery alarm. Plug this in, flip it upside down. I, thought, I tend to see that the, um, for some reason with this quadcopter, when I flip it upside down, it becomes a little easier to bind. So, all right, there we go. Okay, this is ready to go. I got a 60%. I'm gonna go ahead and set my alarm. My timer, where are we? Set it to eight minutes. There we go. We're all set. And recording on both ends at once. Let's do some flying. Uh, I'm at uh, 60 percent right now. I want to keep it a little smooth. Yeah, might be a little windy for 60 percent. Let me hit it at 100 just to be safe. I just want to keep her slow and steady for the moment just to see how the uh, the camera does yeah you're recording me when I'm recording you that's cool huh <laughs> all right I want to keep it slow and steady for the moment see how she does All right. Got nice and high. See what it looks like up there. Got a lot of back pull, so I have to adjust that. Yeah, I'm going forward pretty hard. Still going that way. Wow, that's full forward. See the wind there, we got a lot of breeze. Let me bring her over a little bit. All right, let's go down a little hard. Have some fun. And I'll let it surf backwards slowly.
take a peek at the marina. Man, it's, it's really pulling back. A lot of back weight on that camera. You gotta move it forward a little bit to minimize some of that back weight. All right, keep it hovering there. It's a good hover test. Let's keep it there for a little while. bring it down and have some fun yeah the wind is definitely that way All right, slow deceleration oh, I gotta put my glasses on I'm going blind there Come on over here. There you go. Uh, the wind stopped a little bit. Get some little forward thrust in there. All right, let me go down to zero. And have some fun with her. Come on. Oh, I got full throttle there. Something's going on. I think one of the motors on that. Too happy. Woohoo! Yeah. That's full throttle. Something's going on. Let me land it before it crashes. That was full throttle there at the end, just trying to keep it up. I wonder if one of the motors finally died out. Let me see. Alright, I'm losing power on the rear right. Yeah. Oh, that's a motor that has never burnt. So, that motor's been kicking for months already. That's kind of a good sign that that's the one that burnt. I hope I got a replacement. Yeah, this is clockwise. I got two clockwises. Let me double check again. Accelerate. Yep, there it is. It's failing. Yep, there it is. You see there, it should be like really kicking hard and it's not like these. See when you turn it this way? See how hard the other ones kick? This one is barely holding it up. So there it is, almost dead. Officially that motor is dead. Let's kill the power. And we call it a day. Well, at least I got enough flight time, enough hover time, and enough up time there to see how this thing behaved and see how the vibration dampener worked. So hopefully it was enough. And we'll see how it goes. Hi! Oh my God, hold on. Hi. The, the... Most dangerous helicopter in the air right now. Flame, you playing Bumblebee this morning? Not gonna make it. Oh, right. look at that! Woo! It's upside down, world. Oh. Do again. Ah. Okay, that thing is getting gone. Quick here. Wired up a switch. Out of the bag. Three thousand minutes. Uh, IMAX B6 AC. Battery fits. It's finally here. Camera Devo 10 remote. All right, as you can see. 
262 quadcopter, the Rad Jet 800. And here, it's gonna move its sway like this, right out of the box. That's cool. You see, I'm not even touching the control. It's like I'm at 25, maybe 20 there. I just want to keep her slow and steady for the moment, just to see how the uh, the camera does. Yeah, you're recording me when I'm recording you. That's cool, huh? <laughs> All right, I want to keep it slow and steady for the moment. See how she does. And nice and high see what it looks like up there got a lot of back pull so I have to adjust that and I'm going forward pretty hard still going that way Wow that's full forward feel the wind there we got a lot of breeze let me bring her over a little bit Alright, let's go down a little hard. Have some fun. And I'll let it surf backwards slowly. Let's take a peek at the marina. Man, it's, it's really pulling back. A lot of back weight on that camera. Got to move it forward a little bit to minimize some of that back weight. All right, keep it hovering there. It's a good hover test. Let's keep it there for a little while. Bring it down and have some fun. Yeah, the wind is definitely that way. All right, slow deceleration. Oh, I gotta put my glasses on. I'm going blind there. Come on over here. There you go. Uh, the wind stopped a little bit. Get some little forward thrust in there. Alright, let me go down to zero. 
and have some fun with her. Come on. I got full throttle there. Something's going on. I think one of the motors on that. Too happy. Woohoo! Yeah. That's full throttle. Something's going on. Let me land it before it crashes. That was full throttle there at the end, just trying to keep it up. I wonder if one of the motors finally died out. Let me see. I'm losing power on the rear right. Yeah. Oh, that's a motor that has never burnt. So that motor's been kicking for months already. That's kind of a good sign that that's the one that burnt. I hope I got a replacement. Yeah, this is clockwise. I got two clockwises. Let me double check again. Accelerate. Yep, there it is. It's failing. Yep, there it is. You see there, it should be like really kicking hard and it's not like these. See when you turn it this way? See how hard the other ones kick? This one is barely holding it up, so there it is. Almost dead. Yep, officially that motor's dead. Let's kill the power. And we call it a day. Well, at least I got enough flight time, enough hover time, and enough uptime there to see how this thing behaved and see how the vibration dampener worked. So hopefully it was enough and we'll see how it goes let's go ahead and turn this off and make sure it's saved not too bad it shows a quarter of the battery used but I doubt it we, you know, we weren't even up that, that long all right let me take it out of this thing so it doesn't get damaged hmm, a little warm I mean, it was. It is hot out here, but no need for this camera to get hot at all. Yeah, let me put this down here. Put this camera back in the case. This little case is awesome. Waterproof case slash carrying case. So protects the camera from getting damaged. Ooh, looks like there's a smudge. Uh, I hope that smudge on the lens just happened now and not before it flew. That would suck. Let me see the lens. There's a little smudge. I hope that happened now. Oh, it doesn't matter. The, the video was just a test anyways. I wasn't gonna win any, any awards for that little flight that I just did. <laughs> all right, so this one's all buffed up and clean. And there goes my eight minute timer. So I could have flew a little longer. I'm glad that the motor died closer to the ground and I was able to feel that. The thing with this quadcopter is that after a while you can feel when the motor's uh, not behaving like it should. I'm giving you time to recover from it. All right. Time's up. All right, well, so far so good. Um, it flew nice with the weight. It flew um, better than what I thought without the case. Um, I'm going to play it back and see if it has any vibrations.